and I guess it's because there's no there's no real education. I don't want it to be forced upon me. I want to be able to learn it and understand it. I want to be educated, not indoctrinated. I told you the difference. An indoctrination is when you force it upon me and I'm not allowed to learn and understand the mathematical mechanics of it. Let's talk about facts. If, if you want to have intellectual discussions. Spiritually oriented. Very beautiful fuck. Who you are beyond the personality. I'm a human being, same as you. Be who you are. But to answer your question. What is really going on? And let's get into this. And what is up, Tainy Wiggle Warriors, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Wiggle, the place where we get asked, what is really going on? Um, we're going to do another TikTok here with, um, I think this is another pronouns put together for us. Oh, Lord. Um, this is part of my education. I've got to do this. I want to learn this. I want to understand. Um, I'm, I'm acting as, these are the words I like to use to understand my reality, as a children's author. And I'm going to be creating children's books to help children guide themselves through what I see a lot of madness. I don't necessarily mean what this is madness, I just mean the not understanding it is ma madness. And there's a new world, so I'm hopefully going to create some wonderful tools for children and adults to be able to sail through all this and understand it a lot better. And I want to understand it a lot better for myself, because it, to me, it, it does seem like madness. And I'm trying not to be narcissistic here, but I'm trying to obviously create a show. Um, I'd say that I'm confused, and I need education and this is one way of doing it because I feel that a lot of people will reach out. I've tried other ways and it hasn't worked so this is hopefully another attempt to understand all this so let's get into this. Some women have male parts and what I mean by that is some women, trans women, who were assigned male at birth still have their male parts but that does not make them any less of a woman. Right. It does to people whose knowledge, who accept the terminology that a woman is female. If you don't accept them terminology, that's just how you. I mean, you wouldn't force somebody speaking German to speak English because you say, "No, I'm sorry, you've got to speak English." Some individuals don't like that understanding. They they don't want that understanding. You're trying to force your knowledge on the way you perceive reality onto them. Now that's the part that's making me ill. I don't like that. I like to be explained to what you're talking about. If someone's description of a woman is a female adult human then that's that's how it's been for many a year this is all new but i can understand trans woman i get that and then but when you say trans women are women it's like we're well, now i'm confused because a woman is a female adult um human that's why i was taught to me that is and to most people who think like me um but obviously to individuals that's not what it means it, it's very confusing why can't why not pick another word why not be a why do you have to be a woman what's so special what why, why have you got to be called a woman it, it, it does feel like a form of narcissism I, that's the way it seems to me it's like a control you will call me by what i want to be called and it's like well not if i don't understand it i won't no you have to explain it to me in this case this trans woman was telling her ex experience of her going to the store and people staring at her because she had a bulge in the shorts that she was wearing. She said, yeah, I mean, that, that does happen because it's, it's, it's different. So people stare at things that are different. She had not yet learned how to tuck it and, you know, that's neither here nor... What? I don't believe it. I don't believe this very intelligent person who was part of the arts and theatres where they do a lot of tucking when they play female roles didn't know how to tuck. I think they wanted the clicks. Now, I think that because I know that I've been told that a lot of people who do arts and theatre learn how to tuck and learn how to do these things and she could have Dylan could have easily gone and checked all this out prior to doing it. Um, it's not like she didn't notice she had a bulge when she was putting her clothes on. And obviously I call her she and her because they're just mental roles and she's dressing up as a female, therefore you're going to be called her and she to me. Um, that I, I, I go on by what you dress up. You dress up as a man, I'm calling you he. If you tell me I'm not a he, I'll go, well, I'll try, but you're wearing a he costume. But they're wearing she costumes, so she's there because... 
at the end of the day, a trans woman doesn't need to tuck as a woman is not made, a trans woman is not made by their tuck. A trans woman can tuck or not tuck. It doesn't make them any less of a woman. But she hadn't tucked and it was a bulge. She had a bulge. Now this Marsha Blackburn has a problem with it. Why? Why? It's none of your fucking business who has a bulge, whether it be a... In the same way she has a problem with it, and it's none of her business, you have a problem with her, and that's none of your business. Why is it you're allowed to say something, but she's not allowed to say something? Do you, do you, do you get this? I don't understand. This person is saying, you're allowed free speech, well, I'm allowed free speech, I'm allowed to say what I want, but you can't. I'm not saying I agree with either one of them. I think, I think this, this is all a little, a little complicated and confusing to me, but... Hmm. A man, a trans woman... A biological woman, or a cis woman, rather? Uh, no more. Thank you. You're done. Why are you against the use of alternate pronouns? Uh, I don't think it's... Oh, he's talking to Jordan, actually. I was gonna say... Well, he might have the same answer to me. I, was gonna... I don't think it's against the use of it. I, against... I guess it's because there's no... there's no real education. I don't want it to be forced upon me. I want to be able to learn it and understand it. I want to be educated, not indoctrinated. I told you the difference. And indoctrination is when you force it upon me and I'm not allowed to learn and understand the mathematical mechanics of it and, and, and get a good grasp of it. So I'm not allowed to critically think or use that tomb. I, it's got to be narcissistically pushed on me so Eve, my emotional side of me, um, just has to adopt and, 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 uh, and it's got to learn it. Otherwise, you're going to get punished. You're going to get... Um, you can, uh, people are going to sin and, and attack your emotions and attack you and shame and blame you. The, I, these are the things you shouldn't be doing because they're un healthy and they pose so much problems in the world. I'm, not, I'm against the use of, of le legislation to determine what words are that myself and other people are required to utter. But would you use alternate pronouns if a student asked you to? Did you notice his question in the beginning of highly, um, well, there's a fallacy there and it's highly narcissistical. It says, why are you against it? Not what, what is your stance or anything like that. He used a, a an emotional way of you know attacking somebody in in a sense. I, I don't use the word attacking. It's what other people I'm trying to communicate with you. So basically, he was sinning. He was trying to get at his emotions rather than asking him critically. And this is a new. Let's go for it. I think I've made my position on that clear already. Well, perhaps not to our audience at home who are just being introduced to this. Would you use alternate no. pronouns, and why not? I, because I don't believe that other people have the right to determine what language I use, especially when it's backed by punitive legislation. Yes, um, I agree with that. But, like, I would like to find a middle ground. That's what I'm trying to do myself. But he's, there's nothing incorrect what he's saying. Why can't he have that opinion? Apparently, you guys can all have your opinions, but and you can do whatever you want, but he can't. And when the words that are being required are... The constructions, the artificial constructions of people I regard as radical ideologues whose viewpoint I do not share. Some people say pronouns are confusing. We should get rid of them. And I agree. No more he, she, they, it, you, I, me, them. All of it. Gone. Nouns? Also confusing. Gone. Verbs? Do I look like I take actions? Do I look like I know how to act? <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> no, verbs, gone. Adjectives, what am I, a poet? Do I need to describe things? Gone. You know what? what? This guy's actually kind of funny. I, oh, I hope it's a guy. I can't tell. It looks like a guy to me. It might be wrong. Uh, I mean, I would say it was a guy to me, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. While we're at it, no more language. Don't talk to me. I hope that was great. That was a good comical sketch if it was meant to be. It sounded like it was, and I kind of like that. So this really got out of control. Um, and let's clarify some stuff here. First of all, it was not workplace. It was a competition, and um, it was like an inside company competition. So all those people there were my coworkers. They were fully aware of my pronouns and how to refer to me. The bit about shaky hands was specifically referring to the fact that you don't want to have shaky hands when you're pouring little latte art because you can mess it up. Uh, not that I went and cried in a walk-in fridge or something. Look, 
most of this, like I said, is illness. I mean, you uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, I had a breakdown at work. I mean, it was like I was a female on my time of the month on steroids because um, I felt alone. I felt, uh, and there was a lot of narcissism happening at work. Uh, individuals tell me I was playing an autistic card because I was explaining to them I wasn't being serious. I was making jokes. Sometimes it appears that I am being serious, but I'm not. I was just making a joke because they were making a joke and but their joke was okay but me making a joke wasn't okay do you, do you see what i mean I, it was with another female it could have been having a bad day um and then everything sort of like kicked off and within seconds i was and and sometimes i can't well sometimes i just don't grab my emotions quick enough and it takes me a little while to walk away and then understand man up son get that masculinity in you and sort the problem out. And that's all it is. I have femininity in me, by the way, as well as masculinity. Uh, that's for a different episode and that's what most of this is really about. I'm not saying guess, I'm saying ask. And I'm not saying that everyone who gets it wrong is the fucking devil or something. I'm just saying that if someone already knows and does it on purpose multiple times, it's upsetting. That's it. Why? Why is it upsetting to you? Just don't let it be upsetting to you. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not... I get it. If someone was calling you an a-hole all day, Yo, a-hole! How you doing, bro? Yo, a-hole! Get that! You'd be like, yo. Why you call me a-hole all the time? But, and don't forget now, you have to assume they're not doing it on purpose. They could be autistic like myself and just, you know, get stuck on certain words. Get stuck the way... And, and, and they find it difficult to address people who look like men and call them women or people look like women and call them men i i'm just saying it can be difficult for a lot of people what are your pronouns oh uh, they them she her why because gender is stupid my parents told me your parents yeah okay what are your pronouns uh she they why is that because even though like i have no crazy gender dysphoria i don't like identify as like a female if that makes sense but, like You don't feel like a female. What does a female feel like? What do other things feel like? Surely you can only feel like a female. I mean, to say I don't feel like a female means you must know what a female feels like. This is, do you see how I'm difficulty? I can't, this, this, mm, this, this is confusing. I don't get it. How do you know what a female feels like then? Oh, because you are a female and that's how you feel like. Then how do you, what do you mean you don't feel like a female? So what do you feel like? I don't know. But how can you only... You can only know what one thing feels like, and that's what you are, a female. Uh, I'm really trying. I really am. I'm I don't feel like a female, so that's why I play as well as she. Thank you so much. Have you ever accidentally misgendered someone you love? I have. We are all human and mistakes happen, but even when it's a mistake, it's still not okay. And a lot of times, folks react. Whoa, whoa. Ha, ha, ha. This individual said mistakes are not okay. That sounds like a narcissistic individual to me. You are not allowed to make mistakes. Okay. Who says? Uh, I, maybe I'm getting this wrong. It's just... Mm to realizing they have just misgendered me are so much more uncomfortable than the misgendering itself. It can and should be as simple as this. He was just telling me. Yep. See this individual. They, they complain if you don't um, accept their existence, but then for individuals like myself that are neurological... Um, I'll just use the word it's used because there's too much to talk about right now, right? But... If I, if, I am, if I have a certain perception that allows me to see the world in a certain way and, if, and I find a difficult to see in a different way, apparently I don't exist because it's not difficult to them. It's like, where's your medical degree to be able to say this? Who, who are you to be able to say this to other people? Oh, yeah, you're a narcissist. Well, they're not narcissists, guys. They have a narcissistic imbalance and illness. I only use these words because otherwise people don't fully understand me. But um, the truth is, if you look at my other videos, I don't believe they're narcissists. I believe they're people who just have more narcissistic imbalance than others. If you want to know what that is, is you're more narcissistic. In other words, you're more selfish than selfless. That's a better way of putting it, I suppose, for those to understand. But it has deeper meaning, of course.
Sorry, they were just telling me about their week. Do not over apologize. Misgendering is a very complex topic, but what people need to understand, especially cis people, even other trans people, are going to reg regarding people's identities, right? Is that you are actively hurting people when you misgender them. No, you're hurting yourself because it's all in your head. It's your imagination. You're hurting yourself because you're taking what they're saying seriously. Just, just if someone's having difficulty gendering, giving you the correct gender you want, um, just just understand that person's probably mentally ill. One way or another, they have some sort of mental illness. Just okay, no problem. How about you be the change you want to see? What? When did this lesson go away from humanity? Be the change. You want people to be more compassionate and all that. You do it. But no, these individuals want you to be the compassionate one. And they don't have to be. I... Or you dead name them. We aren't saying the process is easy and that people don't. Most people dead name you because they knew your name before and got used to it. Try playing the gong or the yes no game. Let's see how well you do. Don't make mistakes because everybody's brain is wired differently and this may depend on whether you're newer diversion or not. Oh, wait a minute. This individual might be seeing what I'm saying. I take things back. Maybe I wasn't listening here. Hmm. Your brain has if it's sorry for the bad sound quality, that's my excuse. I couldn't even pop it. You need to actively try whether or not you practice, but it's all about respecting the real. Well, I don't think that's true. Unless you're a doctor, um, you can't really be saying stuff like that. I mean, people just might not have that ability, or just that ability is just so much energy for them. It's like, no, I got other things to worry about my own life. I, I don't want to be trying certain things, but I kind of agree with them, not that you've got to actively try, is that do your best. Why not? Why not? Hi, my pronouns are they, she. My pronouns are nor, mall. Okay, good to know. Hey, everyone, nor pronouns are nor and mall. Wait, no, make sure you respect mall pronouns, okay? No, I made those up. Oh, wow, y'all, nor made them up all by mall self. Those aren't my real pronouns. Oh, okay, never mind, everyone, their pronouns are transphobe. <sighs> <laughs> That's kind of funny, <laughs> but it's funny because this individual, I mean, it's funny, funny, but this individual is actually revealing that they are double-minded. This is how they think, this the egos they create in their mind. See, one was covert narcissist and the other one was like a grandiose narcissist. This person has both narcissistic um, personalities within them. I'm not saying they're narcissists, I'm just saying it's an imbalance here. Yeah? So they're acting out. I mean, both versions there were horrifically, horrifically um, unhealthy and unwell. But to this individual, who knows what they thought about that. Anyway, guys, that's all I can take for now. Um, <laughs> we can do plenty more of these. Uh, join back. We're the Warriors. Harmony.